Alright, today's date is April 3rd, 2012. I'm at Walmart, Stone Cross Supplies. I am. This is a tidbit file in reference to the attitude and posture of these gang stalking expeditions and how they behave. This is just one aspect of it. Once, once they make homelessness of a target, which they do, you can go to Google and type in organized stalking and, or gang stalking and uh, creating homelessness. What they do is, after they create homelessness of a target, uh, they'll do many things to try and break a target down for syndicated control. And um, <clears throat> that's done through the uh, uh, stalking to motel rooms, the stalking to a next apartment, uh, and uh, until the target ends up homeless again. And if the target decides to go camping, uh, just to stay out of syndicated control because it's organized crime within the system that goes after people on disability. And um, uh, they're into a lot of, but, um, uh, a lot of uh, different types of, uh, uh, there's, a, there's multiple motivations behind one target. And if you go to Google and type in a gang stock, uh, gang stock and tech, everything you need to know, you'll uh, discover a manifesto in reference to an actual uh, manager of gang stock and crews. And it flat out says on the manifesto that they're involved in research as well. And uh, because they make money off the behavioral studies and um, and the neural mapping that they uh, manipulate as a result of the remote neural monitoring being used as part of these expeditions. Uh, another motivation behind the uh, expedition is for uh, uh, to try and take legal syndicated control of the target's social security checks and or apply for social security in the target's name once they have syndicated uh, legal control that they obtained illegally by having an organized crime member who works in the system, a syndicated probate attorney and a syndicated judge. And once they create homelessness of a target, what they'll do is have them organized a gang stalked, which is also called organized stalking, along all the target's route in order to uh, uh, initiate that against the target as well while they're homeless trying to survive the situation. And this is done to break the target down mentally, physiologically, because of what the target experiences every day. The body's constant and the mind is constantly reacting to it. And the whole goal is to um, multiple, multiple goals because they're connected also to neighborhood drug dealers, human traffickers, sexual serv servitude rings. And the whole goal is to create such destitution to where the target breaks down. That's where, and then they call 911. And this is usually before a target understands that doctors are connected into these expeditions. And that's where the Medicare bill came. Because when a target breaks down and calls 911, what they'll do is uh, uh, deliberately and illegally petition the target into the hospital, into the psychiatric ward. And this is done to bilk the Medicare and to, uh, to, to falsely dis uh, dis uh, give a false diagnosis of the target with a mental illness in order to justify the uh, deliberate um, uh, bilking of the Medicare and to discredit the target in case the target ever, uh, escapes, gets uh, 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 help, and um, blows the whistle. And they in turn will turn around and use the courts and say the target is crazy, the tar target's paranoid schizophrenic or schizophrenic or bipolar or dementia or suffers from any flavor of the month mental illness that they can subscribe to the target in order to cover their tracks in reference to how they're, uh, how they're directly connected to these organized uh, uh, stalking expeditions that are directly connected to organized crime. All you have to do is Google extensively uh, organized crime and Medicare fraud, organized, uh, organized stalking and Medicare fraud, uh, organized stalking and or gang stalking to co the county mental health, organized stalking or gang stalking to doctors, organized stalking or gang stalking to falsify police reports because they'll use the syndicated police officers to come across the target when the target is camping. And um, this, this is done uh, to approach the target at their campsite on multiple occasions uh, to uh, give them tickets for trespassing and, th and then at that time they'll make the falsified police reports that target seems to be mentally ill or this or that because they won't get an apartment. Even though when you do get an apartment they just have you gang stalked at the apartment building. Google organized stalking in apartments. Organized stalkers run apartments next to target organized stalking in landlords, organized stalking in property owners, and or they'll steal the rent that's you, that I mailed, certified mail return receipt. Google organized stalking in postal employees, organized stalking in mail theft and mail deployment. And it's organized crime within the system. They're white and blue collar workers. And uh, so basically the only thing they do, so what they'll do is that if, if, if they can't break the target down through subjecting them to the organized stalking and the electronic harassment, uh, and the neural manipulations that's achieved through remote neural monitoring, what they'll do then is try to uh, 
use charities uh, in, in the uh, community because they're connected in the business community as well. And so what they'll do, you can Google organized talking in charities, organized talking in Salvation Army, organized talking in churches. And look at how many Google generated responses you get in reference to cross-referencing that description to uh, the particular organized talking to these particular types of uh, uh, descriptions like churches and social services workers, county mental health, doctors, police officers, firefighter, EMS. Uh, and, and when you observe the amount of Google generated responses, you'll easily be able to see the connections in reference to the amount of responses you'll get to see that these expeditions are uh, being uh, brought about against the disabled, the elderly, they are into trust, trust fund liquidation, mortgage co-opting, land co-opting, uh, uh, they, they attempt to take legal control of a target through syndicated probate attorneys that's on disability or they'll apply for benefits in a target's name once they get a hold of them. Then all kinds of expeditions are brought about against the targets once they place them in syndicated run group homes. And this is done to blame these incidences on the target once they're in these homes and then tell the target they have to go in the hospital because their behavior is out of control. And that's uh, just a, an excuse they use in order to be able to put the target back into the hospital so they can build the Medicare again. Yeah, it's nothing but racketeering by tor through torture, okay? And so what they'll do is if they see the harassment ain't breaking a target down because the target, like me, is educated in reference to who they are and how they operate and what they're all about, what they'll then do is try to put people along my path to act friendly, like they're there to give me a helping hand. And this is done to try to get me to go to a second place, just like rapists try to take you to a second place. And this is all done then to just basically take you to a second location where they can, where they act like your friend. They, they say, yeah, you know, if you want to move in with me, you can move in with me. And then they bring about the same type of expedition that they brought up they would that they would bring about in a group home and uh, this is all done so when these expeditions are brought about in, uh, through friendly avenues they then get on the phone and call their syndicated police officers and have them arrive on the scene for another falsified police report all this accumulated data that is brought about once throughout the duration of the organized stalking once the, tar once the target has uh, been uh, made homeless is for uh, to use this accumulated documentation between the falsified police reports and the syndicated uh, uh, doctor's reports and everything Thing. All this accumulated data, and even including data through county mental health and social services and uh, anything that charities might forward to social services, it's all done for an accumulation of documentation. So they can then take this accumulated documentation before a syndicated judge through a syndicated probate attorney, and that's where they take the uh, 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 legal uh, power of attorney over target's finances, and that's uh, obviously for racketeering purposes and also to build the Medicare on future dates. In reference to the schemes and everything they bring about toward the target once they are in syndicated legal control. And this is what I'm going through, okay, on a daily basis, all because of organized crime within the system. That's why they won't take a police report that I'm being a target of organized stalking because they're involved in it. All you have to do is look at the manifesto and you can clearly see that uh, police officers are involved in these expeditions and so are firefighters. So what's a person like me supposed to do? You know what I'm doing? I'm exposing this. My name is Leslie Williams and today's date is uh, April 3rd, 2012. I'm in San Diego, California and this is what I experience on a daily basis. Trying to survive and expose this expedition that's happening towards me uh, so everybody can see the truth of the matter for what it really is. Today's date is April 3rd, 2012.